this is my granddad's old drill press which still works perfectly well although it's slightly noisy Okay, so the pocket looks pretty good, but the bad news is that it's too loose. But at least it is central, and um, I should be able to shim that, I suppose, with something or other. But it's just a shame that um, I'm going to have to do that. Okay, that was extremely nerve-wracking, but I have managed to completely route the top of the body without screwing it up, I don't think. So I am extremely relieved, <laughs> especially about this one, because that is going to be on display these at least are covered so uh, I've still got to do the back of this one but I need to make a new template for that which I haven't done yet so I may as well have a go at routing the binding channel uh, I've been rigging up this jig which will be um, helping me to do the binding channel so it's basically a router here mounted on some uh, ball bearing drawer runners short ones so that enables it to go up and down <coughs> and then uh, it's all attached as you can see to this bit of well various bits of wood to keep it vertical and uh, under here is it's actually uh, the top of an electrical um, junction box so it's got a slight angle on it so when that goes on there if that was the edge of the body I run that along and um, it will follow the contour of the um, arm contour <clears throat> and uh, bind the, get the binding channel the right depth all the way around it was quite easy to make uh, in fact the most difficult bit was making this height adjustable which as you can see I've got a slotted bit of wood here and uh, these turn around to lock it. I've used a couple of manky old G clamps to help it a bit as well because if it slips I'll ruin the whole thing. I think it's okay a little bit of chip out here but um, that's going to be underneath and I think I can tidy that up all right main problem is here because the bit that I'm using in the router is too large to cut into that um, 
space so I've got to use a different bit I think that's the only option I've got so I'll have to have a look and see what I've got but it's gone round here really nicely and the depth looks to be excellent so not too bad I've just been away for about uh, three days doing what has turned out to be uh, the most difficult part of this build so far which is making this which is the cover for the rear mounted neck pickup and the difficult bit has been getting well all these shapes in here and getting this to look neat so um, uh, I've made two of these so far and I've got to make another one because this is uh, well it's thinner at this end because of the way that I made it using the router so just to explain what I'm doing I've got the pickup hole which just allows the chrome part come through like that and then in here I don't know if you can see this is the standard shape route which allows the whole pickup to go in and then there's another one a bit further out which allows a piece of plastic to go in and this has the holes drilled for the mounting screws for the pickup and that's been extremely difficult as well and I've got to redo that because the holes for the mounting screws are in the wrong place because basically there's no way of measuring it or marking it so it's just kind of trial and error really so I've tried twice and made two errors so I've got to do another one also I've seated it too far down so the screws well either I need to cut the screws off or move this further out so I'm going to try moving this further out using a bit of plastic to uh, act as a spacer so then once that one's done this final one is for the cover and I'd like that to be flush and um, fit quite nicely. And this one fits reasonably well but is not flush. So I've got to make another one. So that's what I'm doing now. <laughs> 